Hey everybody, I'm Karina and today we are back with yet another meal prep and food prep video for you on a health and wellness journey. Today we are going to share with you not only a homemade but a homegrown. You heard me correctly, a homegrown recipe. One of my favorites, so let's show you what we've got in store today. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are back for you a couple days a week with not only fitness tips, workout routines, sometimes food prep like today, and tons of other things that can help you along in your fitness and wellness and health journey. I'm happy to have you here. So today, I am excited. You guys know how much I love to share with you all of the different things that I do in my kitchen and how much I love to make sure that I know what's going into my body, especially because I am on a health and wellness journey to continue getting my life back, losing weight and eating as healthy as possible for my family. We are gonna make pesto. Pesto is literally one of my all time favorite toppings because it's so versatile. I can use it. I don't have to use it just pasta. I love putting it on salmon. I love putting it on chicken and it is so easily freezable. It is so simple to make. I think that sometimes that's what deters people from making their own sauces and things like that at home and meal prepping because they think it's complicated. They think it's hard. They think it's time consuming. I'm going to show you today how easy it is to make your own pesto at home and I'm going to use the basil from my garden. So I don't have my ingredients out just yet because we need to go cut that basil. I'm gonna take you guys outside with me. We're gonna cut it off, get what we need, and bring it in, show you the ingredients, and show you how quick and easy it can be in the food processor so that you have it ready when you need it. Let's go. All right, as you can see, we are outside with my garden, if you will, my little miniature garden. This is only about half, actually, this is about a fourth of what we have, but. You can see in the sides here that my tomatoes are flourishing and they're growing. We're getting a lot off of them already, but that's exciting. But today we are here for this. And as you can see, my basil has zero chill. <laughs> my basil seems to always be overgrowing all the time. So I typically can make one, even two pesto recipes because the basil grows so quickly and it does so well out here in Southern California. So I am going to just chop it off. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Obviously, if you hack at it, if you go too deep down to the roots, sometimes it'll have a hard time growing back, but it's very simple. So obviously I always wear a glove. One thing about growing your own produce at home is you never know if there's gonna be any critters inside there. And I personally don't like bugs, but um, I'm gonna try to pull out about four cups worth and that's the thing about homemade recipes also is at the end of the day, you make it till it tastes the way you want it to. So if you have too much basil, you add a couple of the other ingredients. If you don't have enough, you come out and get some more. We obviously use this to top a lot of our Italian dishes also, which is great. You guys, the smell of this. Oh, it smells so good. Do you know what basil smells like? Having it fresh in your backyard is literally like a game changer. I usually bring out a large bowl or a colander with me because I know I'm going to take it straight to the sink to rinse it off before I start to prep it and cook. Again, critters. We don't need no extra protein in our pesto, okay? let's just be real anyone who does this understands and basil is a great a great herb to grow inside if you live in a climate that doesn't really allow you to have a garden outside or you don't have access to a greenhouse which obviously not many people do um, this does really well inside obviously we like to plant two to three basil plants a year because I love making pesto and I add it on everything I can. We're gonna put it on our steak tonight. Whatever we don't do. Okay, so that should be about four cups. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna rinse it off, tear the leaves off, get that ready in order to toss it in the food processor. So let's go. As you can see, I brought in my basil, washed it off, tore off the leaves, did that off camera so you guys didn't have to 
be bored while I did that. But um, I don't throw the stems in. I do tear off the leaves individual individually. Sorry about that. So this is how simple it can be. Pine nuts, about two thirds cup because we're going to do about four cups of basil here. So two thirds cup of pine nuts. Um, I usually order them off Amazon. It's a better deal than if you go to the store, but you can get them at your local grocer. And about a full cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So I usually put a little bit more than <laughs> that just because I don't feel like I can ever go wrong with too much of that. About a cup of olive oil, we're gonna drizzle that in as we're putting it through the food processor. We have our garlic, minced garlic. So you can choose to mince up garlic cloves. I personally buy pre-minced garlic and that's simply because I like to try to cut off my fingers whenever I use sharp knives. <laughs> and so that's what I do in order to prevent that from happening. Last but not least, salt and pepper to taste. So we are gonna take all these ingredients literally just throw them in the food processor, get them all chopped up together till it's the consistency that we would like it to be. And it is literally as simple as that. So let's go. of the basil is chopped. I usually open up my food processor, push all my ingredients back down, giving it an opportunity to chop a little more when I run it through again and finalize my ingredients. simple as that. Like I told you guys, I always do what I can to not only make the things at home, but make it as simplified as possible. So I hope that this encourages you to make your own things at home, try to garden, try to uh, come up with recipes, trial and error. These things didn't come and happen overnight. And so at the end of the day, we made four bags of pesto today. And so what I typically do is put them, as you saw, in these freezer bags, because then you can see how thin it is. I will freeze them in the freezer like this. And then because they're so small at that point, or thin, if you will, they thaw a lot quicker when it's time to take it out, whether we're gonna put it on the stove for pasta, throw it on, a you know, a protein, whatever the case may be. But again, I hope this inspires you. I hope that this makes you want to try to make these types of things at home. Feel free to try the contraption and recipe that I have come up with over the years. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you as always for spending time with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please keep coming back as we will continue to share recipes with you as well as the regular fitness, health and wellness routines that we share with you every week. I appreciate you and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.